Angela Deem and Michael Alassanmi's 90-day fiancé relationship is on the brink of divorce, and there is a chance that they never even got married. Angela was 52 years old when she met the 30-year-old Michael online. You look pretty today, good morning, Michael had written to Angela, who worked as a nursing assistant at a hospice. On the show, Angela said that Michael was cute, but knew that he was from, the scamming capital of the world. However, she agreed to date him, and months later, aired her drama on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. Angela and Michael have currently been married for three years. However, Angela and Michael's marriage is broken, and there is little hope left, as per their recent 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, season 7 tell all appearance. Angela caught Michael Cyber cheating with another American woman that he met on Instagram. The woman was young, and closer to his own age. Michael was chatting with her, even while Angela was trying to reconcile with him in Nigeria earlier in the season. However, when asked if she and Michael were still together by 90 Day Fiancé host Sean Robinson, Angela confirmed, yes, but I am confused. I can't believe nothing he says now. I heard him tell another woman he loved her. There are questions about 90 Day Fiancé stars Angela Michael Reddit user U Colonel Mab wrote, My money is on them being 100% fake at this point. Possibly involved originally, but I think it just developed into a scam and it is 100% fake for profit at this point. It was Angela herself who declared, I married in Nigeria, it ain't legit here. F asterisk asterisk K you, have a good life, on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, season 5, Angela and Michael got married in Nigeria in January 2020. They were urged by an immigration attorney to get married in Nigeria, as that would give Michael a better chance at getting to the U. S. When Michael applied for his K-1 visa, he got rejected during his interview. Although she'd claimed, it's either the K-1 or K-done, Angela decided to get married to Michael because they were advised that a spousal visa process would be easier. They were told that by 90 Day Fiancé star Angela's immigration lawyer. While the County Route 1 visa was more expensive than the K-1 visa, it would allow Michael to arrive in Angela's home state of Georgia in 6 to 12 months. Fans wonder if 90 Day Fiancé star Michael is in the U.S. with Angela three years later, there's still no clues that point to Michael having arrived in the States. In November, he was spotted with Angela, shopping in a Lego supermarket by Twitter user, Ms. Underscore Haney. While this showed that Michael and Angela were still together, it also confirmed his location, which wasn't the U. S. During the 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 Tell All Part 2, Sean asked Angela, what is the status of Michael's visa now, to which her reply was, anytime, without getting into the details. Angela's marriage with 90 Day Fiancé star Michael may not be legal fans started wondering if 90 Day Fiancé cast members Angela and Michael faked the cheating storyline to inject more drama into their franchise appearance, and get another spin-off, as them staying together, despite everything, seemed too good to be true. During the 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 6 Tell All, Angela told Michael that she was, done, with him. A lot of people are suspicious about why Michael has not arrived in America yet. They wonder if Angela's statement, which she uttered in a fit of fury, holds true in this case. 
It is possible that Angela may not have filed Michael's paperwork, in order to keep their long-distance marriage and subsequent infidelity drama going. Moreover, Michael, who started off by messaging Angela on Facebook to scam her, might eventually have been used by her. She may have cast him as her fake romantic partner just to be on 90 Day Fiancé, as she already had experience in that genre, thanks to Trisha and Maury appearances. Sources, you, Colonel Mab, Reddit, Ms. Underscore Haney, Twitter.